Welcome back everybody, welcome back to the Docs Review channel. So today we're back on the Fire TV Cube and what we're going to do, we're going to change all the settings you should turn off or change on your Fire TV Cube for anybody who's just got one. Uh, this is the third generation Fire TV Cube. These settings can also be changed, majority of them, on your Fire Stick and uh, your Fire TVs, any Amazon device. So you may have seen some of these before, but this is a great one for your Fire TV Cube users and a refresher for your Fire Stick users. So before we get started, if we can, if you're brand new here, do hit that subscribe button. We cover everything streaming. And if you've just got a cube, you're going to want to watch these videos. And if you're a regular watcher, do remember, do remember to hit that share button. So drop me your comments, ask me any questions, and let's do it. So to do this, we need to be in our settings. Um, over in your settings, and in here, first of all, we're going to go into display and audio. We're going to check some settings. This is a specific setting for your Fire TV Cube free. Click display and go all the way down and make sure super resolution is switched on. This is really important because this is the upscaling from your HD video into a better quality. Okay, so it's super resolution. We want that turned on. That's the main one we need to do on there. Brilliant. Secondly, while we're in here, all of you should be doing this one is click on audio and navigation sounds, turn them off. That's that clicking noise when you move your fire stick and navigate around like this, okay? Turn that one off. Brilliant, we've got these ones. Um, screen saver is a good one if you want to turn it off. I don't like a screen saver coming on, so I always put my start time as never. So that stops the screen saver coming on and just using up your resources really. Right, next one. My Fire TV, this is a good one for everybody to check. Click on About, and in here, click the word Fire TV Cube seven times. Okay, click it seven times, and that will turn on your developer options. So you click it, and you see at the bottom, you are now three steps away from being a developer. And then when you get back here, between About and Legal and Compliance, you will see developer options. I'm not going to switch mine on on this Fire TV Cube because I'm going to make a quick short video about that tomorrow. But get yours turned on. Right. Breather. If you need to go over those because I went too quick, remember the double bag. We've got a lot to get through. So, next up, across the settings, go to Preferences. In here, we're going to go to Featured Content and video autoplay and audio autoplay. These are both turned on. You need to turn these off, okay? That is at the top there, you see that advert? If you quickly scroll over it and it turns into a video and it comes out really loud, makes you jump, use your resources, you can turn them off so it doesn't happen. So you go settings, preferences, featured content, turn them off, and then when you scroll over the advert, it doesn't play an advert. Okay, perfect, brilliant. So where were we? Settings, preferences. So feature content off, notification settings. Do not just interrupt, you turn it to on. That will stop notifications coming in. And you can turn off individual notifications if you want to. Data usage monitoring, I like to turn this off. Monitor data consumption on your Amazon Fire TV. Have that turned off. Privacy settings, device usage data. Use personal data collected by the operating system of this device for marketing and product improvement. Off. Collect app usage data. Off. I don't want them knowing what my apps are doing. And interest-based ads. I like to turn it off, but some of you may leave that on because you like, you know, they are advertising to your interests, but I like to turn that off. Parental controls is fine. Right, brilliant. We've done that one. We've done that one. These notifications will now disappear. Once we which we can clear them so we dismiss them. You shouldn't get any more now because we just turn them off. So that gets rid of that. Um, another one we can do if you go into applications. Um, I like to go into App Store. Um, automatic updates I like to turn off and then it asks me if I want to update it. Okay, in app purchases I also like off. So if anyone's on your device, they can't in app purchase without you. And again, more notifications off. Okay, really good ones to turn off. They are in there. Amazon Photos, 
allow guest connections, I like it off and access Amazon photos off. But some of you might like it, but I don't like anything make a connection. But some people might like it because that means um, that should be off. Some people like Amazon photos for their screensaver if you keep that on. Brilliant. Those are all the ones I recommend turning off. If you didn't understand any of them, just watch back through again. It will make sense. That is a lot of ones just to help your device run a bit smoother, turning off anything which Amazon might be monitoring and using everything like that. It's good. We've covered this many times for Fire Sticks. It was only right we did it for Fire TV Cubes and Fire TV Cube Freeze. So do check that one out. Before you go, remember, if you want any more videos for setting up your Fire Stick, your Fire TV Cube, check out our page, okay, on our channel when you're subscribing um, for free. We've got ones about updates. We've got one about secret menus. We've got one about Fire Stick codes. These all work. If it says Fire Stick, it will work on your Cube. We've also got one about settings, uh, jailbreaking, install guides, media players, everything. And all our shorts are just quick tips as well. They are all there for you brilliantly. And I would recommend if you're brand new to Fire TV Cubes or Fire Sticks is using a VPN on your device. A VPN is great for your security. Um, up to you if you want one, but I do recommend using one. It's good for security, um, stop tracking, and plus geo access on any apps, things like that. For $3.99 a month, this is an exclusive offer for IP Vanish. Um, it's linked directly underneath for you. You can put it on your Fire Stick, your Fire TV Cube, your PC, your Windows, everything like that. We are partnered with them. So if you don't need a VPN, obviously that's not for you, but if you are after a VPN, if you use our link, we do get a small commission and you get your VPN. Um, we don't take any donations here for any help we do or anything like that. Um, we're not about that. We obviously have adverts on our videos and we also do, if you want to, use one of our affiliated links. Okay, so you get a VPN, we get a little commission, not a lot, it's only $3.99 a month, even in the first place, but that's all there for you to be used. Brilliant. So, off you go again, a nice video. I'm sure some people will be saying, Doc, you've done this one many times. But yes, it's a brand new device and things do tweak. There's a few differences in there for the Fire TV Cube. So hopefully that was helpful for those users. We're gonna be doing a few more Fire TV Cube videos in the next few weeks alongside our Fire Stick streaming devices. We're gonna dig the NVIDIA Shield out again to do some comparisons, so I can't wait. Thank you all for watching. I will see you tomorrow, no doubt. I've been Doc Squiffy. Remember to hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and I'll see you soon.